Good morning. It's foggy. Okay, it's Friday. So now I was thinking to do the outro to the song. Uh, I was thinking to do like a punk rock, just really quick, like Ramon style song. So let's get it done. I wanna run through the hills and look at your stuff on YouTube. I have a Patreon site where you can get all the songs in an instant download. Just follow the links in the video description. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, take it up, nah, nah. Got to get them, nah, nah. Take it up, woo! <laughs> I've never done this before. I listened to some old Ramones and they panned the bass all the way to the right and then the guitar to the left. So it was like a crazy stereo image going on. But yeah, it sounds kind of cool and old school. The outro is finished. I tried to make it sound as dirty and old school as possible. I used this plugin that I saw Fluff uh, recommended uh, online. It costs like 10, 20 bucks or something. It's called Daw Cassette from Clave Grand. And it puts like a tape emulation on stuff. You can use it on anything. And I've, I've been using it a lot. So thanks, Fluff. Okay, I'll shoot a little video for the outro using my beloved puppies. And I think I'll do it in the house. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it works. Now I'm just grading the whole music video, meaning I push the contrast a little bit and, and, and give it a look. Uh, I'm keeping it fairly simple this time, just pushing a little bit. Let me put it on. This is without. And this is with. So there's barely any difference, but it just makes it come a bit more to life. So yeah, keep it simple this time. It's very easy to go far beyond when you're color grading and stuff. Especially if you have like some new plugins and stuff. You just want to, ooh, I'll put everything on max and make it look really far beyond. But, uh, but I think for people in general, it just looks just far too processed. So I think my tip would be just to keep things simple and just uh, see what needs to be done. Because I, I film in a flat profile on my camera, so I just need to push like the contrast a little bit. And then maybe color graded if I want a bluish video, a greenish video. Today I'm just keeping the tone as is. So yeah, keep it simple. I think the video is finished. I tend to put on an effect called camera shake from uh, Red Giant on especially choruses and breakdowns and stuff and it makes the image just shake a little bit because when i always film myself the camera is always static on a stand or something so it looks kind of uh, uh, boring in a way so i put this effect on afterwards to make it seem like the camera is shaking or someone is hand holding it so that's pretty cool so let me show you here uh, this is without the camera shake So I'll put it on now and I'll just push it to the max just to show you how it works. I generally just put it on like 
maybe five or ten of a hundred percent. So it's it's not that much because you can go overboard. I like that effect. Okay, while the video is rendering out there, I'll play through the live set once again. Need to learn those lyrics. Banana break. And now I'm gonna upload the video to YouTube and make a thumbnail for it. And then I should be really close. My internet is freaking fast. I love it. All done. So now I just need to put it online and if people like it, great. If not, I had a good time making it. I just realized that this was the final song on album number 20. So I put out 20 albums since 2014. So a little under four years, I put out 200 songs. That's crazy. And I'm not counting like all the other videos and songs I've done, so you can maybe double that. So by the time this video is out, uh, I'll probably release album number 20. So I'm gonna do like a, a special deal on the DPD site. I'll probably put out another video where I'm releasing the new album. So I'll link that up here or link directly to uh, iTunes or yeah, where you can buy it. So what did I learn this week? Um, don't do another five videos like this. Uh, at the same time as I'm doing a metal cover. <laughs> it was pretty hectic, but it was fun to see like uh, another angle of how I'm working on these songs. And now I'm gonna release the video and don't think about music or video for the weekend and then start over again next week because I love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this uh, vlog series on how I make a metal cover. It's now Friday, five o'clock, and I'm gonna put out the video. So going live in three, two, one, see you later.